to start the All-Star game in 71 was pretty cool, and it, it means something to me when you say first pitcher to start the All-Star game in both leagues. The batter will be Wayne Homer. There's a line drive to center, a base hit for Homer. You're looking at 21-year-old Don Gullett. He's got a Sandy Koufax kind of fastball, Monty. Anytime he goes out to the mound, he can overpower you. of the year for Mike Ivey, a strong young man. And it's deep short. It'll be a long throw for Harrelson and in time. What a play by Harrelson at the side is out in order. I still think I, I could play. Why not? It'd be cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> Drag but it's a beauty by Davileo. Just perfectly dragged by the crafty Davileo. Breaking ball drill to right field for so UL Washington on a one and two pitch. Look at how fast he gets down the line. to Cardinal Nation. In the bottom of the second, big Frank Howard cuts the lead to three to one with his tremendous shot in the right center. In the final inning, Willie Hernandez has retired two Padres. Now he takes aim at history. A fourth world title for Detroit. You know, when I put on a uniform 40 years ago, I never felt I was entitled to anything. And since I've been here for 19 years, I never felt I was entitled to anything. I always thought it was a privilege. We'll see you down the road. I had the pleasure of not only playing with some of these young men, but also playing against some of these great Hall of Famers. And there's the pitcher, Dave Stenhouse, a rookie who's had a remarkable year with the Washington Senators. This play by Brooks Robinson. Look at oh, that. Oh, great day in the morning. What a play. This, this guy's in another world. I mean, he's unbelievable. 
I just want you to know that I have never considered you fans. I've always considered you my friends more than anything else. And I thank you so much for the way, the way you've treated me over this many years.